Well, howdy boys and girls and welcome to Lens Playground. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and I'm happy that you are here to start a new set of mods together with me. Today we are gonna start a tiny quest mod. I don't know if it's tiny, but it's supposedly gruesome. It's called A Guide to Revenge by Aluminia. Then I will test out the infantry rifle by Sifur. I already tested his Tesla rifle in the last playthrough. Um, Wastelandish weapons by Schubrogler and Buddybot by Ethelbra, Ethelbras. I hope I pronounce you right, Ethelbras. Um, other than that, I still have Sunny Smiles with me. Um, I use her. I used her quite a lot. A lot. No, I did not use her quite a lot, but. She was my companion for quite some time. She's by Gurk Mecha. So to get all the weapons and the body bot, we will need to get to a few different positions. Um, as far as I know, the Wastelandish weapons should be, the test out ones should be behind the, yes, behind, um, the gas station in this tiny little box here. I will cheater 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 even more. I will duplicate everything that is in here. So as you can see there's quite a lot of new weapons in the Westlandish weapon pack and I like them particularly because they're really looking Westlandish. They are built together by uh, using many different parts of many different guns or even um, environmental stuff like uh, this one has has a board, a plank of, of wood and some kind of, I don't know, as a handle, even a milk bottle to uh, as a muzzle. I really love them so far. I hope they work equally fine. I will test all of them out. So perhaps I'm gonna need to use them for longer than just for this one playthrough. But we're gonna see that. And also there are all those evil gnomes that are exploding. I like it. I like gnomes and I like explosions. So what is there better to do than letting gnomes explode? I don't know. I cannot answer this question to you because I love gnomes and I love explosions. What did I kick around? Hopefully I did not lose one of the guns. I could understand that I do that. Okay, say no. Sure can. Because I'm okay. Sure can. quite, quite an idiot sometimes. So we've got Sunny Smiles with us, um, as I told you, and Baba as I Promise to you, I will not leave him behind because I like him. Yeah, look at me, Baba. You're such a sweet little bar, especially in your high resolution texture pack. So, which gun are we gonna use first? Obviously, we're gonna use the first one first, the Bandibus shotgun. It's got a damage of 7.8 times 12, so many pellets, and a damage per second of 218. It should be a short range weapon using 12 gauge rounds, not as overpowered as the heavy assault rifle, uh, heavy assault shotgun, but I don't care for overpowered stuff. I like overpowered stuff, but I do not need it. It's many different gun parts put together. I think the middle is of a magnum, the back end should be of a Sniper rifle, um, the sights, I don't know, yes, from the grenade shotgun, and a coil of uh, Tesla rifle, and a 50 cal muzzle, cal muzzle. How is it? It does not spray, so perhaps it's not a shotgun at all, but how fast is it shooting? Quick enough. 
No, I didn't want to shoot. I want to put it away. Let's go in here. Doc Mitchell, you should have the next weapon that we want to take, which should be the infantry rifle, I think. It's just one new rifle and I don't know where it is located. So we're going to have to have a little look together. Oftenly stuff that gets added by mods is in here. I think the Tesla rifle was back where the broken submachine gun was lying around. No. Oh, we're gonna find it. It is lying here. The infantry rifle. Also a new scope. Put together using many different parts. One or uh, two parts of my most beloved gun, the assault shotgun. I don't want to see the paperweight, I want to take the infantry rifle. All right, infantry rifle, drum magazine, and better scope. All right, we're gonna use both of them. And she may use it then. So infantry rifle, I'm gonna go through all the other guns and she may use the infantry rifle. I don't think that the body bot is able to use anything. Is it also 12 gauge? I did not check it. it. Could be. Yes, it's also 12 gauge. I'm lucky that we found so many 12 gauge on a body of a ghoul in the last playthrough. A better scope. Increases zoom plus 10. Okay, I, I, I thought times 10. And a drum magazine. How's it looking now? All right. Looks a little bit more than um, as the assault shotgun now. And I think we've got a problem with the view, uh, with the texture of the, of the scope, but I don't care because it looks funny. I like funny. Sunny, do you like funny too? I think you do. Oh God, it something. rhymed like crazy. You want to get the infantry rifle so that everybody can see you using it. You've got some 12 gauge already, but you will need more than that. 12 gauge. Beanbag, coin shot. You could shoot with coin shot. You could shoot with Bach magazine, but you're gonna get standard 12 gauge round around 600 shots. Did you get them? No, you didn't because I was a stupid, stupid git, as I sometimes am. All right, will you use it? I don't think so, because you've got a light machine gun. Let me see what you got. Um, which uses 5.56 rounds. So now you're still using it because logic. Let me see what you got. Light machine gun. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna take it. You've got a standard infantry rifle now and a modded one. All right, just just go with the flow. It's it's okay if you if you say you have, then you will have. For um, the body bot, the new companion that hopefully will um, fill up our already full roster even more. Um, I will have to go to, I think, Good Springs Cave. It should be somewhere over there. Yeah, there's even a map marker. And if I'm not mistaken, there also should be a quest for it. The mysterious item, explore Good Springs Cave. All right, that's it. Show me on the map, show me on the map. Yeah, it's right over there. I'm gonna go to the map. But first I'm gonna save. Oh, it's so nice running around Fallout again without it um, daring to crash all the time. It had some something to do with the area in the mod. The mod maker told me that it's not yet fully done, so there's nothing to be angry about. It's, it's nice, I like it. I want to use it in vats. Where's an enemy for me? I wanna have some enemies for me. I think there should be some low level coyotes up here in front of Good Springs Cave. 
Hello, wolf. I think you're even a wolf. Because, yes, you're a wolf. You get a headshot, you get a headshot, everybody gets a headshot today. You get a headshot, you get a headshot, and of course you will get a headshot. It doesn't use many APs. Or I just have too many. That could be too. Nice one, I like it. That, that could be a gun that I will possibly use for a longer time. I like shotguns and I like um, rough, dirty stuff. But we're gonna check out all of them. This is the Bast gun with a DPS of 258 and a damage of 12, which uses 44 mag. Unfortunately, it does not have a Pip-Boy icon. Ooh, all right, it looks a little bit ugly from the, bat, from the back, but I will not. I will not pussy around and just be happy to use it. Ooh, it's mighty quick. I like it. I like it. You won. You won me back, gun. All right. Show me what you got. We're gonna go in here and find us a new body. Okay, it's very dark. I can't get get my character to see anything. I think I have. Yes, I have that night vision. Hello, Psychomerg. Die, Psychomerg. Whoa! You're a hellhound. And what a beauty you are. You're Cheyenne, I don't want to hurt you. Cheyenne is the dog of Sunny Smiles, if you do not remember it from your own playthrough. We're fighting together with both of them in the... Oh, God. He's quick. In the intro, where they showed you the ropes. Excuse me. I am still all the time a little bit sickly. Ooh, it's a, it's a nice gun too. Doesn't have the highest base damage, but it's quick. It's got quite a lot of ammo in it. Seems to hit quite fine. And there's all the other ones out of this weapon pack. It looks dirty and run down. What is the next one that we're gonna use? It is gonna... No, it's not gonna be the C4 gnome. We're gonna have to use it somewhere else where I won't destroy the environment. So we're gonna use the Gambler's Pal. As far as I remember, it is a very short barreled gun with a damage of 42, quite a high base damage, but damage per second only of 152. It uses 22 rounds. And it should be modeled after a real gun, I think. Yes, it seems like that. It seems to be modeled after those... Um, Those... I do not know, you call this stuff. There, are, as you see back there, there are knuckle busters or however they are called. And then there's a gun without any kind of barrel. They were supposed to be used in, in brawls. Not many of them were produced because they tended to fire by themselves if you tried to hit somebody with the um, with the iron bracelet stuff thing that you put around your fingers. I like the night vision. We, we're gonna use the night vision. It's... I think it's from NVAC. So you were a psychomerc and this was your head. I already shot it off. It just looked a little bit strange-like. You were a bright follower, I already... Benedict's note to Beatrice, quest. Jason's note to Be Beatrice, okay. So this is part of the mod, I think. And we did not read the uh, Gunmaker's mod, um, note yet. So, we're gonna have to read a little. 
The gunsmith snowed. I was on my way to deliver a shipment of custom weapons to the gunrunners before my caravan was ambushed by some powder ganger bastards. Stole a good chunk of the weapons. I had enough firepower in that caravan to end this whole fucking war between the Legion and NCR. Hell, even to take the strip right from House's nose. There are a little few uh, punctuations in there. Um, so, excuse me if I stumble sometimes. The gunrunners would have paid me a fortune for this, for these. 600,000 caps up front. I could have just bought this strip from house. Shit God knows what those fucks are gonna use the weapons for. Ray towns and fuck the NCR or just sell them to the fiends and Khans for booze. And poon either way some bandit as and poon. Either way, some bandit assholes are gonna end up with a surplus of new firepower which can't be good for anyone in the wastes. I deliver what I've got left to the gun runners for what it's worth. Then just go to one of the casinos, get laid and one last time before I stick a bullet in my own head or head back to the Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Yours sincerely, Shu. Yeah, this is the mod maker Shoe Burglar was his name, I think. Let me have a quick look at my notes. Yes, Shoe Burglar. He's the one who steals your shoes. So don't leave them outside. Although on the 6th of December, sometimes he's called Nikolaus and leaves some presents for you. Um, yeah, he's, he was telling us just that um, we are gonna encounter some enemies using the weapons out of it. He's got a leveled list for them and that we can buy them at the gun runners. So, Benedict's note to Beatrice, Sister Beatrice. Something is wrong. This mission was to be secret. Yet, I have the persistent feeling of being watched. Someone was here before me, of this I am certain. In an effort to elude surveillance, I have withdrawn from Gritzbanks until we rendezvous. Meet me after dark during the next full moon beneath the bridge near Slo Sloan. Okay, bridge near Sloan, next full moon. Until then, remain in hiding. If further evasion should prove necessary, look for a note with instructions at the dera derailed boxcar. May the Creator bless us and guide us in our efforts. Brother Benedict, found by, Benetri found by Beatrice near Goodbrink's source. Jason's note to Beatrice. Sister Beatrice, an item of potentially great importance was, was recently excavated from the ruins of an underground storage facility. However, those who found it soon met an untimely fate near Quarry Junction. Fortunately, it has since been sequestered near Goodsprings by a friend of ours, and the task now falls to Brother Benedict to retrieve this item with your able assistance. Make your way expeditiously to Goodsprings, near to the source of Goodsprings water supply. You will find the rusted remains of an ancient vehicle. Expect a message to be left there for you. Seek shelter in a secluded place until such time as a rendezvous with Benedict can occur. May the Creator bless you and guide your efforts on our behalf. So, near Goodspring Source, there's a rusted out car. Then there's the turn of a boxcar, which should be near the prison or near Sloan. And then there's uh, a meeting, a rendezvous point under the bridge in Sloan. I know that there lies another follower. So, in there, supposedly, we're gonna find another note. But at first, we're gonna try out the new guns. No, we got not, not at first, all the time through, we're gonna try them out. Oh, night vision at bright daylight is not the best idea. No, we're gonna go down there to the rusted out car of a pre-war car. What is this map marker? I don't know what is supposed to be there other than some poor little enemies down there. Is it an enemy or is it a friend? Are you friendly or are you an enemy? I don't know. We're gonna go to Good Brain Source. So I think we've reached the 20 minute mark already. So this should be enough for today's first episode of, of, let me have a look at my note, a guide to Vengeance. No, I got to revenge, which we didn't even start yet. So far, we're just gonna go around and 
try to find brother Benedict. He's a little far away. Don't think a gun without a barrel will have any luck in hitting him. We are gonna um, use the guns all the time and start a guide to vengeance in another episode. Perhaps you're gonna be there for us. It is not the worst of guns. Still quite powerful if it can kill a Ripper Gecko with one shot. Um, yeah, have a nice night, evening, day, whenever you're watching this. Leave me a like, a comment or a subscription if you're inclined to do so. I will not pressure you. But if you don't do it, I will be mighty angry there, so rusted out car. Um, otherwise, see you tomorrow and behave thee well.